Hello everyone, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. I'm Rain. Um, looks like our toilets were clogged there for a minute, but uh, apparently one of them was okay. So, it's been a couple days since I've uh, played this, so I'm just checking to see where we left off on everything. I don't quite remember it. Uh, we did get an extra person, so I should put in a new mess table. And we did get our showers up and going, I, I remember that. But as you can see, that's starting to just suck up all our water. Uh, food shortage. I disagree. So again, we're just here micromanaging our farm. Uh, looks like we just had a huge bounty of food come in, and it doesn't look like any of them need to be re uh, replanted yet. Just make sure we get all that food where it belongs. There we go, no more food shortage. In fact, with these people, we got enough food for the next two days, I believe. Uh, which leads me to believe that we should probably add in some more f growing boxes. What are these made out of? Clay or dirt? Play. Okay, hang on. Again, I, I hate when it does this. Um, it's just quite annoying. But uh, we're looking pretty good on everything. Uh, looks like they got all their showers done and now they're happy. And we're just continuing to tap into our water supply here. Kind of dig down as we go. just added three more farms because I'm not sure exactly if we'll have enough food to last us the whole uh, whole way through the next growth cycle when uh, these all go away. All the plants kind of synced up so uh, let's check our oxygen levels. It looks like we got a uh, little thing of carbon dioxide here. Um, what I'll do for that to try and compensate that We'll build our algae storage here. Um, let's dump that out and deconstruct this. Set this priority to six. And organics, we'll just do the algae. up our algae and we'll just uh, deconstruct these and we'll build these into gas permeable tiles the idea here being that uh, we're gonna try to allow the co2 to flow down here and push the oxygen up this way Alright, so it looks like it's night time. I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, so uh, I realized that we just completed this cons or this uh, research. We have no more research to do, so I'm going to deconstruct this building. There's no need to have it. It's just consuming power. 
I'm just trying to be as efficient as possible with what I got. Uh, while we're here, um, no, we don't get any granite. I need to get me some more granite. Alright, so it looks like we're digging this out pretty good. As you can see, they're actually, uh, this water temperature is kind of hot for them. They're scalding. As you can see, he's burning. He's hurting. That's mostly because I don't have the uh, right equipment to uh, deal with that. Uh, we're going to try and compensate that a little bit. What I'm going to do here, we'll knock that out. We will dig out this. And from here, we will build tile going. Oops, went one too far. We'll just dig out this. And oops. We'll put in a mechanized airlock. Once we get that built. Oh, hang on. Alright, so mechanized airlock is definitely going to be made out of. I'm used to other games, I'm sorry about this. So, Mechanized Airlock is going to be made out of copper. This, it was trying to make it out of obsidian, because, again, that issue with when we restart the game. So, we'll just do that. Even set the priorities up. There's a six on these. And this airlock's just going to work like any other airlock. And as you can see, there's a good amount of CO2 built up in there. There's not much air. Uh, we've got tons of air d down here. As you can see, the CO2 kind of did do its proper flow. Uh, we just completed the research, so we no longer need this. We'll deconstruct it. And right now we do got a uh, an airlock working system here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deconstruct all this. Oh, I just destroyed the pipe too. Oops. Sandstone. Yeah, let's set that priority to six. just kind of prevented them from being able to use the shower. We do have a new duplicate. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing anyone I want. At this point, I can choose to be as picky as I want. I don't really have a uh, need for anything too specific. Um, I noticed here we got some water. I think that was from the pipes. But we'll just... Uh, add our decor on here. Uh, we'll do this sandstone because it does provide a little bit of uh, decor friendly atmosphere. Uh, since we do got our showers built also we will uh, deconstruct just the building. I don't know where those pipes go but I'm pretty sure it's here. Um, just these two just so they can get back and forth here. another food shortage. Sure, why not? Alright, these ones will uh, go away. Dig them up. Sweep up those. Alright, and it's night time. Um, I will see you guys in the morning. Alright, welcome back. They're just going to 
plant these again and uh, hopefully continue to dig up this one before it grows anymore. The longer it sits, the more grow time it uh, consumes. Let's see what we dug out over here. We do got that puff there. I think I mentioned that last time. There's a little bit of algae up in here. Nice big winter biome up here. A uh, whole bunch of nasty chlorine here that I want to avoid. And we got our puffs here that are still going strong. I thought that there was going to be puffs in there, but it just looks like there's just a little bit of good oxygen and a bunch of bad stuff. So our water is starting to get a little low. Um, just do this and dig out the rest. Actually, cancel this one so we can get all this material if I uh, sweep it. It's going to uh, not be a good thing. We're going to wind up uh, having to get it all the way down here. But as you can see now, there's no steam in here. Um, as soon as the geyser erupts, it'll build the pressure. And Yep, there it goes. It's starting to erupt. We'll just watch it here. Make sure they pick all that up. I just want to account for all my resources. Uh, replant this seed. Yep, and there you go. You can see it's just adding in water. Um, I would like to find another one because these things, even though they are a regenerative supply of water, they're not incredibly fast. And as you can see, our water here is starting to take a reasonable hit. We do got all this ice from these winter biomes we can use. We can just take the ice and store it over here and uh, it'll melt. At least that's my knowledge of what it'll do. Uh, we'll just start digging out that. Double check how everything's going. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, they can't actually reach this, so looks like I'm gonna have to build a series of ladders. We got this stray plant that keeps growing food. Uh, we'll just go ahead and collect it. We might as well. All right. It looks like I only have to do two levels of ladder, so we'll just do that. And as you can see, these electric airlocks they just open up so much quicker. Deconstruct this. And in here we will make a uh, just a medical cot. Build it out of sandstone, of course. We'll actually build two of them. Um, they uh, some of them are hurt from scalding. Um, I don't know exactly what that's going to do to them in the long run. Uh, we got more food. And what we'll do here is we'll just start assigning them right down the list. And um, if they don't need it, they won't go to it. But if they need it, as you can see, they'll go to it, they'll rest up, and this is their health bar. They'll just slowly recover. And uh, there are faster ways to do it, but that requires more resources, and I'm trying to be efficient. So as you can see, she's fully healed now. Uh, that's the end of the night. I will see you guys in the morning. Alright, welcome back. And uh, during the night I just uprooted these ones and told them to sweep this food up. And as you can see, both these guys are healed, so now we'll go with Joshua and Abe next. And they'll just come over and heal themselves. Again, if they don't need healing, they're not going to come over and uh, uh, it looks like Joshua may not be hurt. 
Uh, it says he's got light wounds. I guess he's deciding to take a shower first. Uh, I can't set priorities on it, so uh, that's not going to matter. Um, one thing, if you guys haven't noticed, I have had zero stress. No one is stressed out. No one cares about my stress, so when Raven's concerned about their low decor levels, it, it really doesn't matter. You just, you know, fill your areas full of decor and be done with it. There's no need to keep stressing out over decor. It's just kind of a unnecessary thing to stress about. So we're just, again, micromanaging the farm. Um, We've got these two here that are about ready, and these ones are about a day away. We've got enough food for about two and a half days, so little, little nervous on the food situation, but uh, hopefully it'll work out. I just saw a gas bubble, but I don't see anything that can have a gas bubble in there, unless they already took it which they very well may have but um as you can see the, those guys are done now so we'll just do Lindsay and Gossman one of them was pretty hurt I, it, it, it's Gossman yeah look, look at that how low his health was he's he's hurt pretty bad but uh, he'll he'll stay there for a long time uh, Lindsay is right here she is not hurt at all from the way it looks. Let's see, stats. Nope, she's not hurt, so uh, having her do that is pointless. So we'll just go down to the next one, which is Nicola. And we'll have Nicola heal. He looks like he's a little hurt. He's running a little weird. But there we go. Now, now our guys are all fully healed or getting fully healed. Uh, we have a nice little med center now. Regenerative water source going on, albeit slow. And uh, pick up our food here. Uh, one other thing I want to do, since we have this now, mesh tile. And I'm just going to line this whole area with mesh tile. And the reason being, if you look at the decor, um, mesh tile has a negative five, whereas gas permeable. Okay, I, I guess the gas permeable tile has the the same thing. Um, no, I do like the way it looks. It looks better either way. It's kind of weird how it looks there. It looks almost like the. Uh, the copper tile. But e either way, we, we need to get airflow up in here as best as possible. Uh, so one other thing I'm going to start working on here. Um, keyword there is start. Uh, we're, we are going to work on filling gas. And the way that I like to do my gas, we'll have two here. Oh, hang on. Okay, we'll do gas pipe again, but this time we'll do it out of sandstone like we should anyway. And again, just right here. And we will have two vents that just go down like this. We'll connect them and run our gas line going straight down. I got this on pause, by the way. Um, I'm thinking right about here is good for our gas pump. It's it's right in the middle of everything. So we'll just take the gas pipe, we'll run it down here, and just run it straight over. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. And we'll need power to it. So what we'll do is power here, and we'll just power switch there. And we'll just set this all to sixes. Uh, they're already going to start doing it anyways. 
Uh, to get up here is going to be a bit of a challenge, but I do have the ladder that goes all the way up, so I'm not worried about it. And what this is just going to do is, as you can see, we got tons of oxygen just sitting right in here. And it just slowly, you know, comes out here and then it just kind of disperses and we got a lot of CO2 build up here. Uh, that's the end of the night, so I will see you guys in the morning. Alright, welcome back. Um, they're doing their morning shower routine. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, we do have oxygen here by a huge amount. And we had like CO2 build up and just low levels of oxygen as you get to the further areas of the base from the CO2 pit. So to compensate for this, I do uh, have this uh, oxygen just kind of branch out. This is going to put the oxygen in here and it will slowly make its way down. It's a very efficient way of putting higher oxygen up in the upper parts of the base which pushes all the CO2 down further because we have a ton of oxygen pressure built up here which is actually keeping a lot of the CO2 up higher. But we'll just continue building this. I, I want to get this built before I end the episode. I'm getting pretty close to the end of the episode here. Just set this to a six. Set that to a six and that should be done. We'll leave the power on it right now because um, we do need it. We do want it to run right away. Just gonna quickly build everything up. Alright. We got some food here. Just harvest the food. Now, this is one problem that I'm having with the me with the uh, the mesh tile, and I think the developers need to fix this. So as you can see here, we've got someone damaging this, someone repairing this, and this pipe is not actually getting built. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to cancel the repair, we're going to deconstruct just the tile. Because he can't build this pipe until this tile's built. And that that's very annoying, it only happens with the mesh tile, I don't like it. Um, so we just do that, he builds the pipe and we build the mesh tile all over it. And then there's no problem. I, I don't understand how it's a difficult thing. But um... You know, apparently it is. We're about to get a new duplicate. Our, as you can see, our air is it's working. It's pumping air. It's also going to catch a little bit of CO2, but that'll float back down. Uh, let's see, where's our overlay? That's yep, that's the gas. So, as you can see, it's it's working. It's just pumping the the air straight up and uh, into there. And if you look at our overlay, you can see it's. You know, you just see the quick burst of the blue, the light blue, and then it just settles into dark blue because there is low pressure. Uh, you can see the CO2 just came out, and that'll just start to slowly work its way down. Um, it actually looks like it's kind of just getting overridden by the levels of oxygen. We have a new duplicate. We'll quickly check this out. Um, again, no one I really want, so we'll just reject them. Sorry, I'm running a little short on time right now, so I'm just trying to uh, get things done here. Have them sweeping up all their food that they just got. And we'll just check on that oxygen there in a bit. Uh, let's see. Our water levels are looking all right. Uh, we are pretty low in here now. Uh, so what I'm thinking, we will dig this one. I don't know if we can actually reach it with it being, you know, underwater and everything. But uh, there is this uh, uh, water over here that we can get. Uh, one of the other things that I want to do right now too is we'll do this. We will just deconstruct this ladder and. I want to put an airlock right here. And yeah, I, I don't want it to be connected through there because uh, 
these airlocks, you know, they do require power uh, to work properly, but they don't. All right, so that signals the end of the episode. Um, thank you guys for watching me, and uh, I will see you guys next time.